My name is Agaba Francis. Greeting you, dear all people interested in project planning sessions. And today I come up with a, a topic, the involvement of information and technology in resource mobilization. One, what is resource or what are resources? Whoever starts something or starts a project, it can be an NGO or a business, there is behind an interest and this interest is a major because everyone wants to benefit in either way, either by serving the community, but at the end of the day, or ultimately, by serving yourself. I know so many of you have got NGOs or non-government organizations, or call them profit-making organizations. Some organizations have spent years without funding. And how do you access funding? There are so many NGOs that operate in the briefcase. Here we are not talking about the pretenders that are willing or are interested in getting money without any work. Here I don't mean that you have to overwork yourself or to work beyond expected so that you need money from the funder. But there are simple things you can do. I want to imagine somebody who have got a Facebook page. That is level number one. One, to come up with a Facebook page, you don't need any money to come up with an account. Then later, you formulate a Facebook page. So many friends have been coming to me saying, please, I need a website. Make for me a website. Let me tell you, if you don't have capacity to maintain a Facebook page, what do I mean? If you don't have capacity to feed a Facebook page, it is hard for you to, face, uh, to, to, to feed a website. What do, you, what do you put on a Facebook page? I have so many people who have accessed the funders through what they put on a Facebook page. And it is a reliable source for people who have money, who have got a lot of money that will give you the finances that you need to run your project. Considering other factors cons that are a must you have to follow when starting a project, but also communication, media is a very reliable source. This tendency of waiting for when somebody will call a proposal and it's when you feel like you should apply for money, look for resources, that tendency is phasing out. With this era of information and technology, things are turning around. I will tell you this. Somebody making a video of five minutes may be variable than somebody who writes a 45 pages. I don't say that writing is useless, but who are you writing to? Who wants that information that you are putting on paper? Ladies and gentlemen, people who follow my lessons, people who are interested in project planning and management, on how to manage projects. Here today, we are on resource mobilization using the internet, using the information and technology. You may, be, you may have been communicating through emails, but for publication, for dissemination of the information that you're doing about what you are doing in the community, 
may not work from the email. And I've given you number one. This is Facebook. You don't need monthly subscription for Facebook, but you will need subscription to host a website. A website is okay because when somebody searches up, uh, about you, we automatically find out what you do. But here I'm with starters. What do you put on Facebook? There are so many people that have got funding because of the little they do. There are so many people who are doing a lot to our communities and they cannot get anything in as far as fundraising or in as far as finances is concerned. Ladies and gentlemen, this is 2021. A lot has, has have worked before 2019, 2000, 2000, 1999. The strategies in 2000, the strategies in 1999 will not help you in the year 2020. My dear colleagues, whichever simple thing, are you in offices? I encourage you to get so many stories about the offices, orphans and vulnerable children. If you are dealing with uh, crippled people, people with disabilities, you need a lot of stories. And this one tells the community that you are on ground. Because if you bring a story today, the next day you bring a story, another day you, need, uh, you bring another story, it gives us the evidence to trust you that somebody you are going to give money is capable and reliable. And for sure, when a funder puts money here, there will be outcomes. We have seen so many organizations in the city. Someone will tell you, I operate from Kabera Maido. But even he doesn't know which route do you take when you are going to Kabera Maido. They are good. So many people are good at writing, making reports, what but funders would like to know. Yes, you are talking about Kaberamaido. You are talking about Maracha. You are talking about Amdat. What is in Amdat that really you are doing? I want you today to, to find how you bring this social media thing. If you are on organization, you need to be with a page, and this is a Facebook page. Another thing you can be with is a YouTube channel. Another thing you can be with is the Twitter account and these other LinkedIn, Instagram. There, you are able to attract the attention of the community and you are not attracting the attention of the community but you are attracting even the attention of people who matter in a society yes there may be so many people that you provide service to but the community the stakeholders will not know that you are serving these people people who matter people who have finances will not know that you are doing a service to a certain community. You may be good at writing reports. You report the CDOs, you report to the to community stakeholders, but that report may not move as something that you have published. People, there are so many people who are waiting to see you bringing something on social media that attracts the attention of every individual. Even if I have not been in each other, even if I'm not a funder, I'm willing to get my $100 and say, please, can you give me your account and I support this child? Can you give me your account and I support this woman? Can you give me your account and I support this widow or any other person that needs assistance? I tell you, if you want the community to serve you, 
you have first to serve the community. These tendencies of thinking that somebody will identify you without seeing anything should stop. And here we have the internet in place. I have talked about the issue of Facebook, but there are so many ways we can have the information and technology or the IT services work for us. Most especially those people who are in initiation period of projects. Communication is very vital. In fact, things, one of the strongest tools that we have to consider as we are in project planning is media. The strength of media is very, there are people who have been nobody and they are somebody because of the media. So in the NGO sector, in, those, in this uh, sector where people are interested in setting up viable projects, please use social media as it may, as, uh, consider it as nothing else in the organization. I have seen some posts making for people money after even three years when they published their posts. You put a story about the needed person, then the, the after time, as people keep on checking it, you find somebody calling you after a period of three years, after a period of five years, and say, how is this family? Can I get a story about it? Then you are, as an organization, you are in business, not because you have worked tirelessly or so much, but because you go to, new, to know what information needs. Disseminating information is very important. Ladies and gentlemen, you may be having your small phone, but as long as it can access internet, it is easy to fundraise with your phone that you have in hand. In fact, it is not all about having an NGO. There are some people who are willing to work with the individuals as long as what you do impacts the lives of people. If you know that what you are doing is very essential and the community requires your service, please, it's high time to have that smartphone that you have in your hands for a purpose. You can fundraise. You don't need to move to a capital city. You don't need to as long as you have where to charge your phone, you have where to get the data, buy the data, sit on your phone. After visiting a community, after seeing people who are needy, after seeing, identifying a problem statement, it may be about water. Maybe. It may be about a drainage system. It can be about the environment anything you identify in the community. You start it today. Open up your page specifically for that program. Be smart. Be specific. Be measurable. Your idea has have measurable terms. Let it be acquirable. Let it be realistic and time-bound. People want to work with those who are organized. I can assure you, there is no way you are going to start this. You do it today, the next day, and you finish a, you finish a one year without funding. Let me tell you one thing. I will give you an example of pastors. Pastors make a lot of fundraising. It is not because they are so much educated, but it's because they are consistent in their things. And in most of the time, it's not that uh, they use a lot of techniques, no. They do these things consistent. Because if you look at a church, it's a community where all needed people comes. So it is easy to identify the needed people and they will find you where you are. But for your case, I don't want you to be a pastor. But even if you become a pastor, no problem. 
I want you to look for a problem statement. Go to the community and identify. Here in the county where I reside, Uganda, there are so many problem statements. And we are unlucky that we no longer have people who have good information, well packaged. Everyone that brings information is political, is looking for political gains. But we have failed to get people who can identify problem statement for social benefits, for community benefits. What do politicians do? Politicians, yes, find problems in the community, but they don't have solutions to those problems. So somebody who looks, a problem, who looks at a problem and does not have a solution, I think is dangerous because he knows and he can't do anything. But for you, a social worker or a project planner or somebody who is dealing with NGO, you have a solution. One, because you have the feeling that this local person needs assistance. And here, we are bringing internet as an agent to your success. Because with internet, with these social media uh, handles, you are able to communicate with somebody in California, somebody in, in uh, Switzerland, in Sweden. And those are people who will contact you. Those are people who will be in position to mobilize for you. Don't sit on yourself and think that the food will find you on the table. The problem statements we have here are very many. Even in your compound, there is a problem statement that you have not yet identified. In the year 2020, and 2019, I talked about generating an idea. We don't generate ideas from heaven or we don't manufacture ideas from stones. We generate ideas from the environment where we stay. When you wake up, you have enough food. You take that food to the rubbish pit or to the dustbin. And after three minutes, you find somebody is trying to pick the food we have taken the dustbin. It means that however much for you can manage to get food, there are so many people who do not have the capacity to have food. That one is already a problem statement. Then what is a solution to see that people at the neighborhood can also get enough food like you get it? If for yourself, you get old clothes, and you throw them to the dustbin. After 30 minutes, you go to the dustbin and the, the clothes you call old, or oh, they are torn, they are, you feel that they are not fitting for you. You, don't you no longer want them. So if after 30 minutes, you don't find those clothes at the rubbish pit or at the dustbin, it means that there is somebody that needs those clothes than you need them. It is already a problem statement. We identify those ideas from the environment where we live. If you go to the party, you see somebody grabbing food. He, has enough, he already has enough food, but he's going for more extra food. It shows you that this person is living out of anger. There is a problem at home. She does not have enough food. And how can we solve issues concerning hunger? You may see somebody in a nice suit, is dressed very well, but you don't know what is behind the scene. You don't know how that person sleeps. So if you were to take procedures and get a story from this person, you may end up having like three or five ideas. And if you are able to publish those stories, like you have been touched, if something pinches your heart, if something touches your attention, it means that there are million people that can be attracted by this idea. We have so many people who are there and they cannot, they don't know what to do. Somebody has money but does not know where even to invest the money. So if those people see somebody who have come up with a certain idea, they will be willing to do what? 
to fundraise for that person, for that individual. When I talk about fundraising, it is not first time to hear the word fundraising. We, in our local societies, we have seen people fundraising for people who are needed. But how do they come to feel by having the information that somebody needs assistance? Me, let me tell you, in this world, there are people who are good. There are people who are willing to help. There are people who are willing to stand with those people who are vulnerable. But who makes them aware that there is a need here? Even the government, the government is willing to solve people's problem as long as they get to know that there is a, pro a problem here. Keeping quiet is a dangerous thing. But the moment we, we disseminate information, the moment we get to know the channels where to distribute our information, the moment we get to know there is one opportunity, and this is information and technology, this is the media, then there we shall have our communities assisted. I would like to see a group of NGOs addressing issues that affect the local people on the grassroots than just following the needs of funders, just waiting for funders to come up with problem statements. Let me tell you, most of the funders do not have facts because they don't live in these local communities where you stay, where I stay. It's you that have an idea. In fact, some funders will wait to see somebody coming up, raising an arm, and they also do what? They also stand. So ladies and gentlemen, it's we that have failed our communities, more especially you project planners who think that you will have to see the, the call for proposal in the new vision. You will wait to see the call for proposal in the newspapers. Or you hear from the TV and you apply. Or you search from the internet, you apply. Let me tell you one thing. The world has changed. Most of these people, they find people they trust. And when will you build the trust when these people have never dealt with you? Who can give you the three millions when you have never handled any single million? Who, no, who can trust you in one, with one billion, yet you have never managed even 500,000? So it's all about building the confidence in you and knowing where to distribute your information through using the information and technology, through using the media, the applications I've talked about before, and you use the information, you publish the information consistently. If you put there one video and relax it, the community will not look for you. There are people who are serious and every day they are building, they are building stories. As an organization, any serious organization, I would advise you to have people who are responsible for media. As you make research, as you find out that this is really a need, you put it across people. And not every person is beneficial in as far as fundraising is concerned. You display the information to people who are concerned, to people you think that they will have to do for you some help, and you also get to help the, or the people, the local people, the grassroots persons that are in the community. For people who are in deep areas, uh, there is a tendency and a discipline where you find all NGOs centering in the urban center. I can assure you, and however much people in the urban centers have issues, but people in villages have got issues. And with this era of internet, whether you are in the village, whether you are in the urban center, in fact, you may find somebody in a local area performing more than somebody who is in an urban center. Why? Because the issue of internet makes us all global. Right now, where I'm broadcasting this video, you are not aware to know whether I'm in a village or I'm in a town. Because somebody who is going to watch, somebody who is watching this video does not know Agaba Francis, but may be interested in the information that I'm delivering. It is, you may ask yourself, why am I concerned? Because I personally am a social worker. I've been in a community for more than 10 years. I've seen the mistakes we have made 
to the community. I've seen the damages we have made to the community. You have a project for three years. After three years, all the cases you identified, all the problems you, you identified in the community, you leave them because the three years of the project are phased out. I want you to imagine somebody being identified as malnutritious. This is somebody who does not have enough food. You come up with a project of providing food. And some organizations may even not have a plan to build a capacity. Then after three years, you leave this person. Where will this person get food? But if you do fundraising, you will get people who have, who have got sustainable plans for this individual. Maybe you may do a story for one person. You may identify a problem basing on one person. But these people, everyone will come at his pace. And this person will get the continuous support through even the systems of organization and as you look at the sustainable plan for these individuals that are in the community. But my emphasis today is the involvement or engagement of social media or engagement of media in addressing issues. I know you have got fears wherever you may be. You can be Nigeria, Ghana or Cameroon, wherever you are. Some of you have fears that if you identify a problem and you identify, you, you publish it, politicians will be against you. No, the packaging is very important. If you are not pinning, if you are not abusing the available systems, but you are addressing your issue to whoever concerned. And by the way, even the government is a stakeholder in this. Me, I can assure you that the people on top, people are the, in the authorities, some of them are not aware of this information. Your leader, if your leader is able, can see a certain video and say, I'm, will, I, I'm willing to see that person without fighting you. But the challenge, our approach as NGOs is not in a good spirit. Have a good spirit. Be in a position to work with other stakeholders, not leaving behind the government. And as we get social media, or this uh, social media platform as agents to disseminate information to people who are responsible in order to have support from these stakeholders. Ladies and gentlemen, there are other videos like of this nature about projects about generating ideas, about all sorts of knowledge, you find it. Please subscribe, share this video, the number of time you can have. Ladies and gentlemen, I wish you a nice year. I wish you a nice time. And I wish you success. I wish you a lot of money. One, I, I, I would like to see that from the video you, you were broadcasting, I did A, B, C, D. I considered social media. I considered my my Twitter account, my LinkedIn account, my histogram account, my, uh, my Facebook account. I used them for mobilizing funds and now my organization is not lacking. I tell you from your organization you can have enough money without needing for these other funders that put their call for proposal in newspapers. Let me tell you. These pastors who have got a lot of money from fund from these donors, they don't answer the call for proposal, but they have got hundreds of projects. Look at any Pentecostal church or any other church and visit them. You'll find them having marked projects, but they don't answer the call for proposal on the internet or the New Vision or any international paper or any national paper that you have in your country. But what do they do? They sent the Xerox on the problems, on the people that have problems, and them being an advantage of being the spiritual leaders, they are trusted and give pen money. 
if it works on people's problem, you give them time, you give them attention and follow their needs, you will have people to stand with you. I can assure you, this is your time. This is your turn. You can make it. You can still contact me. I have got, I, I have got a lot about these NGOs and how they function. If you want to be successful, I have seen people who have done a lot to the community and nobody identified them. Nobody knows them. But how can you fail to be known by someone? Yet this is an error where at least everything you put on the internet goes global and you are able to interact with different people. Eh? Understand? So I have known so many organizations who are doing a lot and they are getting less. Please, the three the three hundred million is not okay for you. You need a billion. You need a million US dollar in the organization. There you will be in business. I can assure you that it is possible for you to have enough funds to enable you and the community move. I remain Agaba Francis. Subscribe to our channel for continuity. There are other more, 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 more videos concerning project planning and management. I love you so much. Thank you for watching.